Okay, so we come to the next problem. Suppose we run Dijkstra's single source shortest path algorithm on the following edge weighted directed graph with vertex P as the source. Okay, so this is a directed graph and we have to run Dijkstra's algorithm on this and our source is P. So in what order do the nodes get included into the set of vertices for which the shortest path distance are finalized okay so if you remember when you run your dextrose algorithm you start at a source and at, at each step you finalize one node for which you have found the shortest path so you have to give that order of those nodes in in which order do you get these nodes finalized in this case all right so since i start at p so what I'm going to do is I have finalized P like this. So when I make this red circle around any in any node, that means I have finalized that node. And and in blue, I'll write the distance, the shortest path distance to that node, the one that I have finalized. I'll I'll write it in uh, blue. Okay. That is zero for this one. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll write that in blue and even even those distances that are the current distances. Okay, in Dijkstra's you have these current distances that keep on changing as you as you go ahead. I'll write in blue and they, they'll change. So, so I started this. This one is at zero. Okay, so the next step, what are the vertices or nodes that I can reach from P? I can reach Q which is at a distance one. So let's write one here, okay? I can reach S, which is at a distance of six. So I'm going to write six on top of S. And I'm going, I can reach T at a distance seven. This edge is seven. So I can write seven on top of this, okay? Now, out of these distances that I can, that I can reach now, I have to choose the shortest one. So the shortest one is for this Q and that is one. So I include this in the final uh, in the final path or the shortest path distances that are so far finalized. So now Q has been finalized. So do you understand why I choose Q and not S or T? Because like suppose this one was not the shortest path from Q. Okay, I say that this is the shortest path. Suppose this one is not the shortest path from Q, then the shortest path must be from somewhere else. It must be from P to S and then somehow to Q or P to T and then somehow to Q. But in that case, your path will be six plus something or seven plus something. Okay, and this is definitely going to be greater than one. So that's why I choose Q in this case. Okay, so this is finalized so far. Now, what I do, since I have finalized this one, I have to look from this node whether I can reach somewhere else, some newer place or some older place where I was able to reach before the distance has changed. So from Q, I can definitely reach R and the distance will be, so 1 to Q and this is 1, so total will be 2 to R. Okay, that's what I can do. What about S? Yeah, I can I can go from Q to S, but the distance is four. So one plus four is five. And what do ha what do I have here is six, which was this one. So this has to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this thing from six to five. Okay, so this one becomes five now. Okay. Okay. So so that's all where we can go from Q. So now we are done with Q and so now it's time to include our next node in the final shortest path distances. So which one we are going to include? So these have been included. The one that we are currently looking at are 7, 5 and 2 and the smallest shortest one is this R which is at 2. So we definitely have to include this one. Okay. So Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write what order I have been looking so far so that it literally doesn't get confusing. So I was at P, then I went to Q, and 
then I included R so this is what I have finalized so far okay and then now since we are at R now we have to again do the same thing okay so one thing again so why did I include R and not S and T the same reasoning because R is at a distance 2 from here suppose there is some other shorter distance other than 2 then again that has to go from either s or t and which would be 5 plus something or 7 plus something so which will be definitely more than 2 so this reasoning applies again and again so i'm not going to repeat it uh, afterwards so okay so from r we can go to u okay and this is 1 so 2 plus 1 we can reach u at a distance of 3 and what about s so s is so far 5 but from here we can reach it at 2 plus 2 4 so that means that we need to change this thing okay so this thing will become 4 now that's what we do so this becomes 4 and then we do the same thing again we have to include one of these and this time it's gonna be u because u is the shortest one you have done so far okay so that is u all right so i have to i have included u so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write p q r comma u out here that's what i have done so far and the next step is now from u where can i reach can i go anywhere from u no i cannot go anywhere from u so the distances remain same and i include the next one so the next one is out of the seven and four those are the only distances left so this has to be this one because this is smaller that means that i have s here okay and then i'm left with only one which is obviously t okay and the last one that i include is obviously t and this is it and the distance remains unchanged 7 because whether I go from here to here or I go from like this 4 to 4 plus 3 7 it remains same which gives my final answer to be PQRUST and that is option B